Hello, and welcome back to another Airless Jason Plays. This time we're going for a game called Planet Base. It's, um, you do, you do, you can't, you land on a, you land on a planet, uh, with a bunch of colonists, and you just gotta colonize the planet. It's pretty, kind of sounds straightforward, but, uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll go, I've played it before, um, Obviously not very far, uh, but we'll just start on a nice easy planet, and we'll just this kind of this is where you can land. You can pick where you want to land. Uh, we call it base. We just leave it as it is. It's not. Uh, so got a medium-sized desert planet with a thick CO2 atmosphere, which partially protects it from meteors and solar flares. Uh, characteristics, light amount high, so you get solar panels, uh, operate, atmosphere density high, suitable for wind turbines, uh, sandstorm risk high, meteor risk low. So, so there we go, landing on the planet. Touchdown. Okay, so here we go. Little doors, little ramp comes out, and then we got our colonists. The blue ones are the workers, so they go off, they pick things up, and they build stuff. Green ones are bot biologists, and they kind of they kind of a bit like farmers. Um, so they'll make the food and stuff. Uh, so let's make sure I'm saying it right. Workers, green ones are biologists. Uh, yellow ones are engineers, and the same with the robot. It's a construct, a constructor bot, and they'll help build stuff. Uh, the blue one is a carrier bot. It's basically a kind of like a worker, and then the red, the, the person in the red is a medic. So uh, the thing with um, these guys obviously gotta wear their suits otherwise they'll die because they haven't got any oxygen but the the bots are good because they can go out they don't need it uh, but they do need to be maintained I think so um, first thing we're gonna do is we need we need water and power to operate all these uh, mm -hmm, all these Structures, so let's throw that down first. Water extractor, we need to get the water, and then we need a battery that should I should do with the big one, and then connect them back both up to supply power. Uh, and then we'll have a nice big solar panel, but we'll have a medium sized solar panel. We'll connect that to the battery. So, so far. We have this. This is gonna get. This is gonna supply the base, the colony, the colony base thing, with, with water. But it needs power. We've got a battery. That's building. Um, so it stores the power, and then we got a solar panel collecting the power. So it gets the solar power, so the solar energy passes over, stores it, and then that'll run that. So that's that. Okay, so f we need now these guys need to breathe. So we'll build build a big oxygen generator. Uh, that there, that cable, that's just where the power is going to run in. Um, and then we have an airlock, so these guys can actually get into the building. So we'll connect that up there. So. That's that. Um, we'll put this. Uh, okay. And that's everything we have in inside the colony ship. So we've got a bunch of metal, bunch of bioplastics, bunch of meals. Oh, excuse me. Uh, some spares. So when they need to be. I think like when the robots and stuff need to be repaired, you got spare parts and medical supplies 
Oh, press the wrong button there. Okay. You think these what's these workers doing? They're just standing around doing nothing. Alright, go and do something. Alright, it's the engineer, the engineer engineer bots. Engineers build all the stuff, don't they? Nah. These guys just carry it. Carry stuff. Um right, so we'll build a canteen as well. We need to have a slightly big canteen. That can link to that. Um oh no, it's outside one now. So Yes, we got a canteen so all the meals and stuff like start being prepared there, like this where they eat. Um, if you notice the connections between buildings, um, as long as it's space normally you can get, you can put something down and connect to it. But some rooms, like the dorms, they're kind of like dead ends. So as soon as you put one of those down, that's it. You can't can't build anything off here, so you couldn't have Bloody hell. Uh, you couldn't have like a row of dorms like this you couldn't have like a dorm and then a passage and a dorm and a passage and a dorm you just it's basically say that's just a room you'd have a dorm and that's it that's as far as it goes like just like these these you can't really build anything else off here it's just so these guys are going in now. So let's take the the roofs off. There we go. I just it's just that's for visuals. It's not actually taking the roof off. They're not gonna die. It's fine. There you go. So as you can see, the O2 levels are quite low. Uh, so I go in and start breathing the air, and that should go up a bit. There we go. Nice. Uh, and then that was the canteen. You can edit it, this, uh, I think, somewhere, or when it gets built properly. So you can build tables and stuff in there. So these guys at the moment, these, there's nowhere to go. They kind of come into the airlock and there's no passage off because that's not being built yet. So, just gotta wait for that. And I cannot see a thing, so I'm gonna play around with some sands. No, I'm not, because they can't do it in the game, apparently. Great. Bloody see anything. There you go, so the connection was built and now we can go into the canteen where we have structures. So you can have a meal maker. That's basically like a vending machine, so we'll just throw one of them down. And we'll have a couple of tables. Um, there and there. And a drink fountain. Put that right there. Uh, I do, I think. And build up some decorations and stuff to make people feel better about it, but don't need that in a minute. But we do need a dorm, so we'll throw that just by the so look. We want it. I don't want to take up too much space. No, that's a big one, that's but have a smaller one. Yeah, we'll just link it to that. There we go. So when you're planning out like your base, I'm uh, not planning out at the minute. It's just kind of random, to be honest. Um, you might take when you get like a storage, uh, let's have a look. like a storage room or something there. You, you can use that to store all your stuff, but then it's best to have like. Maybe like an air, like a airlock or something, because like these guys got to go all the way around. So they're going all the way, they're coming out of the building, going all the way down to the thing, and then going all the way around the structure just to get there. Whereas if um, if I had like an airlock there, they could probably just walk straight through and then out instead of going all the way around. Probably shows a bit if you're like a massive base. 
to imagine like you have built all down here and you built something up there you'd go all the way around just to build up there but if you have a airlock they can just walk through the building so that's that um, we need we need a biodome uh, that helps grow vegetables and stuff so uh, the might not be half decent to put it there so it's quick so they can get plants and stuff and then put it in the vending machine and make meals so I'd imagine that'd be quite good to have it close um, I'm just trying to build really quick before everyone dies um, what have we got so we need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build another. No, or another power. Or oh, should we have a turbine? Maybe build a turbine. I'll have a big turbine. Build a turbine just. Can we put it up here somewhere? No. A small one. Can we have a small one by here? Oh, yep, we can have a small. Small turbine there. I'm gonna connect that up. So even uh, even when it's not sunny, we can still get the turbine to spin in the wind. So in the night, it should power up still. There you go. It's charging up. Uh, that shows the power. So we're using 11. We're collecting 50, and we're using 11. Isn't it? Seems 11 and producing 50, yeah. So we're okay for power, really. But just in case. Um, what else have we got? We got that. Process raw resources into usable to. I'm thinking maybe build a storage place by here. Just a small one. Should be alright. Because I'm going to demolish this in a bit and it should give me a couple more resources and they can just go in there. I should be able to build off that as well. Um, okay. So I think that's it. I think that's the basics kind of covered. So we should be okay for now. Um, let's see, can I adjust the speed? There we go, let's increase the speed, get them working a bit quicker. Only so we don't have to wait around for them. Mm -hmm. There we go. Go back down to normal speed. Um, so we got the dorm. We're gonna edit that. We're gonna throw a couple of beds in there. Do one there. Say one there. And one there. And throw another one in there as well. So we got eight beds. We only got seven people, so that's okay. That's fine. Um, these are red because I think it's because of the oxygen's not. Well, it's getting in now, but it was because the oxygen was low. What have we got? We're consuming 17, we're making 50 though, that's fine. Wind tur turbine's up and running. So, there we go. That's that one and that one. Yeah, right, so this is the type, this is the kind of plants we can make. So we can have like statue stuff, which is, it's good to have like a mix. Um, okay, so we so have yeah. uh, They have different like settings. It's good to have like a mix of different food, so you'd have like the Statue foods and like the vegetable foods, 
um, then done that that's a medicinal thing so you can build medicines these ones these are just kind of for for your colonists to relax and get uh, but um, have a look pee pad fast production but it's, you've got to keep fixing it um, it's just like in the middle potato ones in the middle uh, what's this? Maze pad, low maintenance, but slow production. So, don't have to keep fixing that. And uh, no, these are kind of just the same. So, boop, we get some rice pads. We'll have a rice pad, we'll have a, a lettuce pad. Um, so, these both should produce food pretty quick. And then we'll have like a middle one, a potato one, and a medicine one. So that should should be enough to yeah should be enough for us to get on with. Where's what's beeping now? Let's the uh, oh wrong button. There we go. Let's get them working quick. Oh, are they gonna sleep? I think they're gonna sleep. Yeah. I'm still not asleep. Oh, the engineers are up. Building. Okay, so what we got? We are... auction for approximately 30 people. So we're fine. We're fine with that as well. For now. Uh, we'll go. Consuming 2.2, producing 4. That's alright. Okay. So I think these guys are they're just getting their food, their meals from here at the moment. And then eating them there. What are these guys? What's this guy doing? He's doing nothing. Do some work. You lazy bum. Alright, um, do we need anything in here now? Basic landing facility, small comets, or trading ships. Uh, some poses for colonies. Simple pad that can be used to expand the base. All right, yeah, you got to be in a certain range. So, um, I think like, see if I wanted to build up through these. Oh, they got to be. Uh, pretty sure you can. I think you can connect them up so you can. Build through gaps and stuff. I don't know. I'm not a bloody space though, already. Uh, what do I need? All right, processing plant. This this is where you get like stuff like. Um, we can build like mines and stuff. Yes, yeah. So you get the metal ore and then you take it to the processing plant. And I'll turn it into actual metal. Or I think it's the same with the plants to turn them into bioplastics. So um, maybe build a water build a water. Build a small water tower. Maybe. Nope. I would have. I'd like to build a mine instead. That's got to go into this. Uh, that's what I was saying about the uh, airlocks. If I put a mine there, it means that uh, the workers have to go out, come out of this one all the way up there to go to the mine, come back, go through to drop off. What's this hint? 
You need to manage a variety of resources to keep your base running. They range from raw, raw resources like ore and starch to finance products like semiconductors or guns. Uh, resources decay and will ultimately disintegrate when not in storage or inside a component, so it's important to keep them in a safe place. Resources from the colony ship are more durable and will take longer to disintegrate, but it is still a good idea to store them eventually. Okay. So you can dis uh, deconstruct or recycle, yeah. Um, so I think base. I think if we dis deconstruct it, I think we can. They'll start moving into storage. I hope. So there we go. There you go. These guys are doing nothing. They'll start picking it up and stick it in storage. Uh, what was I saying about the mine? Uh, you need like an airlock, kind of, maybe here. Oh, but then you want store. You want it near the storage area, though. So, crow lock. Where can we put this mine? We, if we have another mine here, say here. Then we gotta obviously link that up with power. Uh, and then if we have a. Oh, I should have done the other way around. Build the airlock. Not too far from there though, really. And it's fine. It should be fine. It's not too far into there. It's when I start expanding out, really. So what we got unlocked? We got a sick bait. So when people start getting sick, we they need to go there. Uh, the lab will take the medicinal plants and turn them into medicines. What we got? That's food. One of the more challenging aspects of keeping your colony functioning is the production and preparation of food. One wrong move and you could cause a death spiral that can get everyone killed, even in a large and stable colony. The main food source are vegetables. You should always produce plenty of these. Ideally, you will produce a bit of surplus. And if required, you can sell the excess to traders. The amount, the amount of bi biologists required to maintain the vegetables will vary depending on their type. But in general, a good rule is to keep one biology for every two to three vegetable plants. Okay, so the main tool for controlling the flow of food is the charts panel. If the food stocks are decreasing, complete disaster is only a matter of time. Address this situation immediately before you run out of food, as the chaos that will ensue when people go hungry might be hard to deal with. Having plenty of meal makers is also important, apart from producing food, they also serve as storage if one is available. When food is produced, you will save your colonies two trips to the nearest storage. One to store the food and another one to take it back to the meal maker. The best way to avoid mal malnutrition is to plant a variety of vegetables and also some vitro meat. Vitro meat? Usually a ratio of two to one vegetables to vitro meat should work well. The most common reason for a colony running into food problems is ex accepting more colonists than the food production can cope with. It is important to ensure you can feed new colonists before allowing them into your base. Uh, I'll do vitro meat. Oh, that's made in the, the lab as well. So maybe we should build a lab. Uh, oh, where are we going for this lab? Maybe put that there. I'm trying to think, is it, is it better to connect them, them and them? Nah, don't know now. Um, maybe, I can't, 
I kind of want to build a landing pad already, but just a uh, food stock. Well, there you go. There's my answer. Don't mil don't build them. Right, we got all this. We need more workers though to pick all the stuff. Pick up all the stuff, like. So we can have a workbench for medical supplies or virtual meat. We'll have a virtual meat. I think it's up there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, so these guys. Oh, biologists. You need the biologists for that. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, hang on. Well, I'm one of those. And then uh, a medicine one there. Um, bench. Uh, this one's for a medic, so there we go. So, we should have a, like, enough stuff now to... We should have like a nice little colony going on. Okay, so by the luck we got ore. Uh, that is deteriorating because we haven't got it that way. Story, that's the storage here. 46. Come on now. Get all this stuff away. I'll stop building. So we can get a uh, speed it up. We can have one, that one bolt. Where are our food? Look. Get the food! Come on. Okay. It's because we haven't got enough people, I think. What's this guy? Where are you unhappy for? Can I turn this off for a bit? Because we've got two workers going in there to run it. Excellent producing that. I want to turn it off. Oh, right there. Disable. So we'll turn that off for now because we don't need it. So they can they can help get all this stuff away. It doesn't use anything as well. There's no power consumption. We should stay save on that. What we got here? Virtual meat. And some bad plastics. What's that? That's a starch. Vegetables. Pretty sure. Or is it the potato thing is just for starch? I thought it's for food. Really, what I need is Oh is that Oh is it making Oh yeah, it's making vegetables, that's fine. I it was just... Uh yeah. So you got these these things are making a starch each and two vegetables. This is taking making three vegetables. And this is making one medicinal. Alright, okay. That makes sense now. Kind of know what's happening. Alright. We're making chicken visual. Oh, you can change it. We'll have a bit of beef, bit of pork, whatever. And this one is taking the medicinal plants and bioplastics and turning it into medical supplies. Alright, but I'm just enough for 30 people um, what the hell oh that's probably because it was just dark and not enough wind maybe we should build another 
battery. Build another battery and put it by there. There we go. So I shouldn't take long to build. Pretty close to the storage. Okay, I think we're doing all right. Can we speed it. Oh, we're on faster speed already. Okay. Where are we going? Those are spare parts. There you go. Spare parts. Using spare parts to repair it. How do we build more spare parts? That's what we want. I think that's gotta be that's gotta be in a processing plant, surely. We got a list of base management, stats, charts, grids, text, milestones. I look at stats, what we got. So we got Nine spares, got a bit of that. Enough for five meals. Okay. What's this? They're not very happy. Uh, it doesn't look that good. Sandstorm and security controls. Security, uh, security control panel. Allows you to control the alert status of the colony. There are three main settings. No alert, all colonists go about their duties as normal. Yellow alert. All colonists stay indoors and medics and guards are on extended duty. You might choose to use the setting during a disaster to prevent colonists from getting hurt. You might also activate this setting during an attack to ensure that all available guards attack the intruders. Red alert, same as yellow, but all colonists will try to attack any intruders with weapons if they have them or without if they don't. You might activate this setting when you have no guards to defend your base or when you have an overwhelm when you have been overwhelmed by intruders. Um, okay. I don't think I got a control panel though. I think that's my security. I think that's it, I think you gotta have a security thing. Well, stay inside anyway, guys. There's nothing going out. There's nothing going on out there anyway. Don't need anything. Can we speed it up. Get through this disaster as quick as possible. Take it back down. Okay. So I think. I think I'm gonna leave it here, there for now. Um, I've saved the game, obviously. Save 27. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick kind of build. Um, and I will see you again in another video of Planet Base if you guys like it. So uh, bye bye for now. Bye bye.